Hey guys, we're out here in Revlon Tule Coast and today we're going to be looking for our whitetail drink zones. Now last update did a little bit to the whitetail. I actually lost 20 zones from the last update so today I'm going to go through everything that I do to find my zones and the tactics we use today will work on any map, not just Revlon Tule. Whether you're first starting your whitetail grind or you are trying to refine zones that you have lost, it is exactly the same process. Stick around to the end of the video guys, I am going to share a hotspot map with you showing you exactly where all of my whitetail zones are here in Revlon Tule Coast. Now you won't have exactly the same zones as I do, but your zones should definitely be in the same areas and it should help you to find your whitetail drink zones. And if you do enjoy the video guys or learn anything at all, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments what your best whitetail trophy is so far and what your dream whitetail trophy would be. And we are gonna head straight into it. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to point out guys is that whitetail are basically everywhere on the map except for basically the bottom 30%. So if I were to draw a line, so that line would basically go right across here like that and basically over there and I would definitely check this area right here. We'll call that elephant trunk lake. It's not really a lake, but I have a pile, a pile of whitetail zones here. One, two, three, four drink zones for whitetail just in this area right here. So you're not going to find any whitetail down here, so you don't even need to look. But everywhere else, when you're looking for your zones, every piece of water needs to be checked and sometimes rechecked. I would say that the best part of the map is the top third, this area right here. There are loads and loads of whitetail up here and most of the lakes are nice and wide open. So generally what I do is I set the time to about 9 o'clock, 9 or 9.30, whitetail drink from 8 until 12 on every whitetail map except for Rancho. In Rancho they drink from 8 till 11, I have no idea why, but they do. So the reason I set it to 9 or just after 9 is just to ensure that the whitetail will be in their zones. Then I set out with my binoculars, we're not going to be doing any shooting and I'm going to be doing all kinds of spotting. Every piece of water I hit, I am going to zoom around the edge of the water. I'm looking for drinking whitetail. The other thing we're going to do is if we find tracks for whitetail, we are going to track them. They are more than likely going to lead us to a drink zone and we're going to be listening for mating calls, warning calls, just for whitetail in general. And if you do find them, don't shoot them quietly follow them until you get their drink zone. Now, before the update, I had, if you can believe this, 73 drink zones for Whitetail. With the last update, I lost 20 drink zones. And today, so far, I have refound five. So we are hoping to find some more. So basically what I do guys, when I set out from the outpost, I put a marker at the edge of the lake and I will start running. I will run out there and I will stop running at about 200 meters, 190 meters. I will start walking and I will start spotting all around the edges of the water. This is so I don't spook if there is a zone right at the edge close to me. Now you can pick up zones from need zone indicators even if you spook the deer out. They don't need to be there as long as there is a need zone indicator and sometimes you can pick up the zone just from picking up whitetail tracks. So as you are running, pick up every track that you can and if you do find whitetail, definitely follow those tracks. Now what I carry with me when I'm looking for my zones, I carry tents and tripods. I do have a rifle on me, but I don't recommend shooting while you're doing this. And when you find a zone that is looks like a really good zone, drop a tripod there just as a reminder that that is somewhere you want to set up and a tent. Now you can only put 16 tents down on any map and you can put down 32 tripods. That's the max. Now when you are purchasing tents and tripods, you always want to be purchasing the same color variation because they stack. For example, one camo tent weighs the same as nine. I'm carrying nine here. So that is why you want to purchase the same variation. So you just want to stack them and that goes for tripods and any kind of hunting blind at all. Okay, so interestingly, these used to be whitetail zones before the update and no more whitetail zones here, unless we find some. So now I am walking. I'm going to spot all the way around all of the edges. Your binoculars are your best friend when you're looking for your whitetail zones. Make sure you check in all the corners. They can hide. And there's actually no whitetail here. Holy! All right, so if you are satisfied that there is nothing there, then head to another lake and basically I run the perimeter of the lake and I spot everywhere. So it is a big job to find all of your drink zones and it's these big sources of water that I find very challenging because you can't spot across the lake. 
The smaller lakes are so much easier because you can just run up to them, spot the entire thing, and keep on trucking. Now, anytime you can put a tent down and get to two different zones, that is a good thing. But we still do have the increased spook radius that we didn't used to have. So when you fire any weapon, you're going to spook everything for about 300 meters. So if you do set up like that, basically you're gonna have to farm one zone, go to another lake, and then come back and farm the other zone. So that's one way to get around that. Oh, look at that. Yes. <clears throat> We have a whitetail zone. Now what do we got in there? Nothing very exciting, but we have a zone and that is exciting in and of itself. All right, so let's just keep scanning here. Yes, another zone. That is so great. So we are on the same lake that we were just a second ago. We just found two zones on this lake, one right here and one right here. So that is very sweet. So when you are setting up your tents and your tripods, I drop my tripods 175 meters from the zone and I drop my tent 250 meters away from the zone. That way, when you travel in, you're not gonna spook anything. Time is super important. You wanna be getting through your zones as fast as possible. So if you are unable to run across and pick up your kills, so if I had to run all the way around, it would actually take me a very long time. So in this particular spot or in this instance, you wanna have a pickup tent. Now you don't wanna be doing that too much because we do only have the 16 tents. Now, lynx are going to spook your whitetail out and my whitetail are not here because I would imagine we have a lynx. Oh, here they are. Here they are coming in right now. I wonder how long they will stick around. And there's a pretty one. If you are actually trying to refine zones, definitely go to lakes where you already have zones and recheck those lakes. There can be more zones there. So this is where we are in the top left hand corner. And let me show you how I set up this lake. This is actually my absolute favorite lake for whitetail on the entire map. Let's go over there. Okay, so as you can see here, guys, I have my tent set up right on the cliff here. And shout out to I Buy Premiums. He's actually the one who suggested I set up like this. Okay. So I have one zone right at the bottom, right here. Doesn't have much in it at the moment, but it will. So I actually have a tripod right here. So I run from my tent right into my tripod. I shoot right down here and I have two other zones on the lake. One is right across here. There they are there. And these deer will not spook when I shoot at this zone. They're rendering in right in front of my eyes. So then once I shoot this zone here, I can actually run right down there. I have a tripod waiting for me right there, pick up my kills and then shoot across the lake and run around and just run over there and pick up my kills. And if I wanted to shoot at this zone, they would not spook either. I only have females here, but if you do have bucks in this zone, you can actually farm all three zones by setting up this way right here. Now you can't do that at every lake, unfortunately, but if you can, you do wanna set your tent and tripod back 300 meters so that you're not spooking your other zones out. Okay, so this right here, this is a need zone indicator. Now I already had this zone discovered, but if I didn't, that would give me the zone for these whitetail. So you don't have to have whitetail in their zones to find them. You can just pick up the need zone indicators and often just by picking up the tracks around the need zone indicator, it will give you the zone. Now time is very important. Make sure that the entire time that you are out here, that it is still whitetail drink time. So ooh, there they go. Once it hits 12 o'clock, those whitetail are gonna be out of there. You can still pick up their zones by picking up the need zone indicators, but I would set the time back to about nine or 9.30 and keep looking because it's just easier to spot around the lakes and find the zones that way than having to run the entire perimeter of every single lake. But that is definitely what you might have to do to find all of your zones because it is a very big and time consuming job to find them. When you're running the lakes and spotting for whitetail here in Revon Tule, I just wanted to point out that the lighter area around the lakes, that is water. So you're gonna have to run around all the edges of even the lighter areas around the lakes. Now, when you're spotting, you can only see as far as about 400, 420 meters. And after that, even if they're there, if they're 500 meters away or more than 420 meters, you're just not gonna be able to render them in. So you're gonna have to get closer to be able to spot, but you wanna be spotting all the time, all around the edges, constantly looking for whitetail. Now I get asked all the time, 
Why do I have to find all of my whitetail drink zones? And the answer to that is they will not respawn properly until you have most of them found. You don't have to find every single last one, but it seems like you do have to find most of them in order for your respawns to work absolutely perfectly. And let me tell you, it's very frustrating to go from zone to zone when you're trying to do a grind and have no whitetail show up. You definitely want consistent respawns. So it's just so much easier to find all of your zones right from the beginning then you can head out and start that grind and put that great one in your lodge as fast as you can. And that brings us to the map. So this is where I have all of my drink zones since the last update in Revontuli Coast. Now definitely check every single lake, even the ones where I don't have whitetail. It doesn't mean that you won't have whitetail there. Just the bottom third that you don't need to check. So I have about 60 drink zones here. You can start your grind when you do find 60. I'd say that is safe. And I do post all of my hotspot maps to my Discord and the link is below the video. So once you've found all of your drink zones, then it is time for the fun to begin. Then it is time to start shooting. Click right here, guys, to learn all the very best hotspots for every single species in Leighton Lakes. This is the Leighton Lakes Super Guide. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one.